guys, it's Nikki from Still Moments Nursery. I had a couple of requests asking me to show what doll kits that I'm working on, so I'll show you what I've currently been working on um, this week. So I'm going to show you these two, um, well the twins to start off with. So I've just um, got their heads um, and I've got their legs just over the back there because I've done their nails and I've just applied another coat um, just to sort of highlight their um, creases a little bit. So they're just sitting over there drying and then I'm going to varnish, well, once, I've, once I've sealed um, the limbs I'm going to varnish their little nails. So I've just popped their little heads in um, to this basket. So you can see both of them. They've had their um, skin tone done so I've still got to do their little eyebrows and still varnish their lips but I'm going to do that after I do their hair so I just thought I'd show their mum how they look um, on uh, video so as you can see so this one here is the little girl and this one's a little boy so the little girl's got a little a little bit more mottling sort of in um, the middle of her head so because they're identical kits so I sort of painted them to be a little bit different so can't wait to do their hair as well. So they're going to have nice thick hair. So they're in that basket. I've still got to seal the paint as well. So I'm going to do that um, probably tomorrow. So I'm going to seal them and then leave them for a couple of days and then I'm going to be able to start their hair. So they're the twins that everyone's been asking me about as well. Um, I've also got another um, custom order as well. This is a little Lee Howe kit. I'm not sure how you actually pronounce it. So, um, well, that's how I say it. So I've finished all the painting and all the mottling and um, blushes on the cheeks and everything. So, and I inserted the eyes. And again, I've still got to do the eyebrows on this little one. But it's just an adorable face. So she's getting dark, um, sort of black hair. And finished all the limbs. I'm still got to do her nails. So, still got to tip her nails. So I've still got to do and finish her. And then I've got a tray kit as well, so, uh, sorry not a tray kit, this one was the um, rain kit uh, by uh, Michelle Fagan and again she's a custom order so um, I've nearly finished her, still got to do her eyebrows because it's the last thing I do, but I've popped in her little eyes and I've, I've done another flesh coat on this little one today so uh, she's still a little bit wet but she's basically finished so her mum can have a good look at her on the video. Um, I've still got to do her hair again so she's going to be in a light strawberry blonde so I've got that um, on its way so I'll be able to start her hair once um, I've fully finished her. But I've done all the nails, I did all them today so as you can see all the nails have been done and again I haven't varnished them yet because they're not quite dry her hands are just adorable. I love the way that they're just sort of posing naturally. And she's also got a little bottom plate and a little um, anatomically correct female. So they've got to have ribbon attached to them so she can tie it around the cloth body. But there's the little rain kit for her mum. So I hope you like what I've done with her so far. And I've got a little olive kit by Kirsty Black. So another popular one. And this is actually the last of the kit um, for this custom order. So she was quite lucky she actually got um, the kit. So again, I've just finished his skin tone and his mottling. And I haven't popped in any eyes yet. I've still got to get his little eyes out. Um, I've still got to do his um, nostrils and um, his little lips a little bit darker. But he's looking quite cute. And then I've got the 42 inch Gabriella doll kit. So I've, I've done her skin tone and I've applied um, her first lot of um, sort of blushing. So I've actually done it a lot lighter than I did my first child doll. So she's she's just got little subtle little red fingertips as you can see. So I've still got to do more to her. And again, she's a she's a custom order. And then I've got the candy kit at the back, and this one's a custom order as well. And her mum's been asking me um, to sort of put her in the vlogs. So there she is. I've 
done her skin tone. So I've got to start on her mottling and creases and sort of bring her to life a little bit, but another adorable doll kit. So and that's the candy doll kit by Real Effects. So I'm looking forward to getting her done. And then I've got the Eden doll kit. Again, um, another custom order. And his mum's actually seen him um, already, but she wanted me to dull down um, the mottling a little bit. So I've applied a few more coats um, to sort of dull that down and it's actually looking um, a lot better. So it's giving a sort of a more underneath the skin um, appearance. So um, he's looking really cute. And again, he's got the um, anatomically correct um, belly plate. So I've had to match the vinyl colours, but um, yeah, it's coming out really cute. So as you can see, all his mottling on the belly plate. So a lot of people are waiting for him to be finished. Uh, and you know, excited to sort of see how um, the limbs and the belly plate go on. So I'm going to do a, um, a vlog on that as well to sort of show you guys how you can sort of hide the hip joints and hide the little shoulder joints. And then we've got another custom order and this one's actually um, a little look-alike. So I'm doing this one to um, photos. And she's the little nail kit. So I've finished her um, skin. And again, I'm going to start her uh, modeling. So I'm basically doing um, this kit, um, the candy, and um, was it the other one? I don't know. But I'm basically doing these two uh, together because they're the same vinyl and they've got the same skin coloring and they've got the same modeling. So it's easier to do them sort of in the one hit with the same paint mix. But she's just got an adorable expression. So that's the little nail kit as well by Real Effects. And she's got an anatomically correct little girl as well. So she's just got the front plate, she hasn't got the back plate, so she can just tie it on with little ribbons that feed through the little holes. And then I've got over the back, I've got the Angelica doll kit. So again, it's the 42 inch doll kit. So actually got sent this one by mistake so she's actually going on to the store when I um, have time to finish her so haven't actually done anything to this little one so she's sort of sitting up there waiting to be done and then I've got the Nico up here which is um, Aubrey on the website and she actually found a mummy so she's basically nearly done I still haven't done her uh, fingernails or toenails so I've still got to do that so over the back here we've got um, another custom order. So this is the Dee Dee sculpt. So I basically finished this one. She's a peach and cream complexion. So she's had all of her skin colouring and her mottling and everything done. So I've still got to get her eyes and I've still got to do her fingernails and toenails. And then a McCaslin doll kit as well. She's now a custom order. So I've got to finish off her skin tone and I've got to start on her mottling. And she's got an anatomically correct belly plate as well. It's a little bit different from um, these other ones. But very realistic nonetheless. And then I've got another custom order. This little one's the Marcus. So it's going home with a little, just a little belly plate. So I've still got to finish off his mottling. And the Alexa by Audrey Stoke. You've seen me do the lips um, on this little one um, earlier. And again, she's a custom order, so she's nearly finished. Um, I've just got to do her fingernails and toenails and sort of just do a little bit more highlighting. And in the little Paris um, over the back, I've just finished her skin tone. Um, she was an olive skin tone, so um, now I can start on her mottling and get all of her details uh, finished. And then down sort of on the bottom are a few. There's a Sophie again by Real Effects. So this one, um, the nail, and that other little one over there. Um, like I said, because they're all the same skin tone, um, I do them all uh, in the same sort of mix. So she's the other one that um, I was looking for before. So she's got a little frown, or little freckles, and uh, sorry, wrinkle line above her eyes. So she's an adorable sculpt. And again, she's going home with the female just the female 
So no back, back plate again. So a lot of people like the belly plates. And then I've just got the two Shelly Harpins um, over the back there. Okay. Alright guys, so that's basically all the kits that I'm working on. Um, I've got a couple that I'm doing hair on um, at the moment, so um, but they're in a different area so I can't actually zip you guys over there to show you. Um, but yeah guys, um, thanks for watching and I hope the mums that have been um, asking me about their reborns um, have got a quick look at them today and can sort of see where I'm at during um, the reborning process. Um, yeah, and let me know what you guys think of them. If you like them, um, if you don't like them, um, let me know. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!